government retirement because I had worked for the park for six years. So, uh, unfortunately, Mary couldn't be here due to Bob, Mary Edmondson. She's a person who turned my career pattern all the way around. I mentioned this on her 90th birthday. You need that, the uh, I need the microphone? Okay. Does this work better? Is it working? It's not working. A little further away. You what? Further, away. further from your face. That? Like down, honey. Down there? there? Up a little bit more. Up there? Yeah. <laughs> what do I do louder? Anyway. Uh, <laughs> As I said, I was on a hot hike of the uh, Tablelands once, and uh, Mary was leading in, and I asked her if anybody would clear the trail because it was really overgrown. And she kind of turned around and gave me one of those sly Mary looks, and she says, "Oh, you like to volunteer?" And I go, "Yeah, I guess so." <laughs> so you mean uh, I don't know if you noticed there's a picture on the slideshow of a helicopter, helicopter coming in with three dead goats hanging from it. That was my first volunteer trip, although I didn't fly into the cat. I, I looked at that and the fact that I think Tom Hoffman was chasing Carmel Crivelloni through the hotel with a load of fence wire. I thought, this is an interesting place. I think I'll come back. You know, so that was like, you know, oh, what kind of people who went up in the park? This will tell them. So I decided to come back. I kept coming back. I hooked up with Terry Quisenberry as a volunteer. I volunteered so much up there that when I, because I was house sitting for a house I sold for my mom. And I told him, well, you know, we're gonna leave. We went back to the mainland. And one of the goddess said to me, oh, you want to come back and work? And I said, you mean get paid? <laughs> he goes, yeah. I go, oh, okay. So I did that for six years, and it was where I met most of the people in this room. And I uh, really appreciate knowing and having the experience I've kind of had with all of you, and some of the fun things we had, and the crazy stuff we did, and I don't know, a lot more. But uh, and then, I, then I got a full-time job in the state, because I was just a seasonal. I worked for nine months, take three months off, on and off, on and off, and finally I decided Oh, why don't I get a full-time job? Because I just got married, you know, and, and my, my single loose days were over, I guess. But, uh, so I, I, that's when I started working in the park up with Olinda. I mean, at the work facility, Olinda, the fern and everybody, and then moved down to the pay chart and had 27 years of state service, which I really benefited from and I really enjoyed it. I had a good time. Got the, see a lot of things, meet a lot of people, do some interesting things, meet endangered species that were on the break and still are. It's just been really a fascinating journey. I, I'm sure glad I was on it. Was, I was about half my age when I met Mary on that trail there, so that's the second half of my life. And I don't know, hopefully it's just the second third. But you never know. So, Anyway, thanks for coming. I appreciate everything you guys have done for me, and I really appreciate everything you've done for the, for the environment, which is you know, why I got into this gig in the first place, and I know you guys are all committed to it, so, you know, I, I really appreciate everybody being here and all the times I have with you. All of you. <laughs> Pretty good. Thank you. Right. I'm under drink.